In this video, we will see how to upgrade Change Auditor platform to 7.1. The overall process of upgrade has been divided into three parts pre upgrade task, upgrade, and post upgrade tasks. In the following slides, we will see each of these carefully. First of all, to begin with pre upgrade, there are four processes that we need to carry out as a part of pre upgrade task. The first and very important check your existing version for change auditor. If you are on 6.x or 7.x and you want to upgrade to 7.1, you can directly upgrade. But if you are on 5.x version for change auditor, you will have to first upgrade to 6.8 and then from 6.8 you will have to upgrade to 7.1. So first check your existing change auditor version and decide upgrade path. Second step, take a snapshot of your existing configuration. The existing configuration consists installation name, SQL database configuration and port information. In my environment, when I will upgrade to 7.1, I will show you how to take the snapshot of this configuration. Step number three, license. If you are on 7.x platform and you are upgraded to 7.1, you do not need the new license key. But if you are upgrading from 5.x or 6.x, make sure you have valid license available with you which will be required during the upgrade. In order to make sure if you have a valid license or not for 7.1, check the extension of license file you have. It should be .dlv. If the license file extension you have is .asc, you will have to log in into your Quest support portal account and you will have to download the new license key. And step number four, stop change auditor coordinator service so this was all about pre-upgrade steps now let's have a look at upgrade procedure upgrade stage consists of five steps step number one run the 7.1 script as administrator step number two in which you will be asked installation name we have taken the snapshot of installation name as a part of pre upgrade task, so this is a very easy peasy information for you. Step number three it will ask for license. We have already discussed about the licenses in previous slide. Then it will ask you to input this SQL configuration information. Here you will have to name your SQL server name on which your change data database is hosted and username and password credential information that is used to authenticate against your change writer database. And last is port information. In certain environment, we have seen you are assigning static port for agent and client communication. If that is so, we have already taken the snapshot in the previous slide we have seen. So please assign those static port Otherwise, if you are having the dynamic port allocation, simply give zero that I will show you later. Now, let's go ahead and see post upgrade task. In a post upgrade task, there are four things that we need to do. The first is make sure the coordinator service is in up and running state after upgrade. If not, please start change editor coordinator service. Once the service is restarted, you will have to log in into your change editor client. But if you are going to log into your change editor client, it will give you the error because your coordinator has been upgraded to 7.1. To resolve this issue, upgrade your change editor client as well to 7.1. So second step is upgrade your change editor client. Once client is upgraded, you will have to log in into your change editor client and make sure your searches and your other configurations are intact. 
once you are logged in into your client successfully go to your deployment page screen and upgrade your all agents one by one so this was all about the overall process for change editor upgrade now let's log in into our change editor coordinator server and upgrade my coordinator to 7.1 as you can see here, I am logged in into my change editor coordinator server and I have logged in into my client. My change editor coordinator existing version is 704. So the first step is to check your existing information regarding your change editor version. As I have 7.0.4, I can directly upgrade to 7.1. Now, second step, I need to take a screenshot of my existing configuration in order to take the screenshot go to your taskbar and find your change editor coordinator icon simply right click and click on coordinator status this will open up a new window in which you can see your coordinator status is there installation name version information and database information is there so for a safer side, take a screenshot of the screen because while doing the upgrade, you will be asked to enter your installation name in SQL Server configuration. Once you have taken a screenshot of this, we should go ahead and take another screenshot for SQL Server configuration. In order to do so, simply go ahead and right click change editor coordinator icon and click on coordinator configuration and here you will see what is your sql server name what is your instance name database catalog name what is the connection method you are using is it windows authentication or sql server authentication and what are the user credentials that you are using so this will be very valuable information because sometimes while doing the upgrade we forget and we stuck over there and our upgrade is not happening as expected so please take a screenshot of coordinator configuration once this is taken go ahead and click on ports as we were discussing there are two kind of scenarios here one is static port allocation and second one is dynamic port allocation if you have done the static port allocation there will be specific port number mentioned here so for that purpose we should take a screenshot of the screen but in my environment i have dynamic port allocation so simply i have put 000 but for a safer side i'm taking the screenshot once the screenshots has been taken for SQL Server configuration and other configuration information, we should stop the change editor coordinator service. Find your change editor coordinator icon as you can see. Right click and simply click on Disable Coordinator. Click on Yes. This will stop your coordinator service and you will be out of your change editor coordinator client as well. As you can see here, my service has been stopped. In order to verify the same, right click change editor coordinator icon and click on coordinator status. As you can see here, my coordinator status is stopped. That means service has been stopped. So now let's download 7.1 from your Quest support portal account, place it on somewhere on coordinator server so that you can run 7.1 setup as you can see here i have downloaded my change editor 7.1 from my quest support portal account so go to cd folder and as you can see i have auto run so simply right click run as administrator This will open up a new window in which select install. Now 
we should go ahead and upgrade our change generator coordinator. In order to upgrade, simply click on install. Now this will check all of your prerequisites and if all of your prerequisites are met, it will ask you just to continue. So click on next. I accept the terms in the license agreement. Click on next. Now, as you can see here, we have open license dialog. So make sure you have the valid license uploaded. As you can see here, I have suit license, which is a trial license already available in my 7.0.4. So I did not need to upload a new license key. So before proceeding ahead, make sure you have varied license in your environment if you cannot see the license here simply click on select licenses and then you will have to select your respective 7.1 license file and simply go ahead as i have license available i'm clicking on close and simply go ahead and click on next this is already giving me my installation name which was ca01 that means I am good to go. Now here it is giving me all the SQL Server and instance name as it is. In some cases, you do not see this information available. So as you remember, we have already taken a screenshot of our SQL Server configuration information. So simply take the information from there and paste it over here. Click on next. Click on next as i have dynamic port allocation in my environment i am simply putting 000 here but in your environment if you have done the static port allocation please mention those ports here click on next click on install so now this will install 7.1.0 coordinator this will take few minutes and now as you can see here my coordinator has been successfully upgraded to 7.1.0. So simply click on finish. And as you can see here, on the change editor coordinator icon, click on coordinator status. So it is going into the initializing state. That means my upgrade is happening as expected. Now this will take few minutes because it is contacting your coordinator database as well and it is upgrading few queries. So that's why this will take few minutes and once the database queries have been upgraded it will show you as a running state so let's wait till the coordinator status is changing to running now as you can see here my coordinator status has been changed from initializing to running that means coordinator has been successfully upgraded to 7.1 and as you can see my version is 7.1 that means my upgrade is successful now as a next step let's upgrade the client as well so go back to our setup window and second option is change your to client windows so please click on install and as you can see here it is giving me the error that you have one or more applications open so let's close all other applications now simply click on next i accept the terms in the license agreement click on next and if you want the icon or a shortcut on a desktop you can click on desktop simply click on next click on install so now this will upgrade your change your truck client version as well from 704 to 7.1 and as you can see here my change your truck client has been upgraded to 7.1 so now as a next step let's log in into our change your truck client and let's make sure our all configuration and searches are intact so this is my change editor client i will simply right click and run as administrator and click on connect 
and as you can see here my coordinator and client both are upgraded to 7.1 and in the right hand side as you can see my agents have started connecting to my coordinator so here you can see what are the new features and what are the new updates in 7.1 so you can just go through that now the last and final step is to upgrade the agents so by clicking on the searches you can see here if your all searches are intact or not and this was the search that i had created in 7.0.4 and after upgrade those are still there that means i have not lost anything in order to upgrade the agents simply click on view and click on deployment this will open up a new window this will give you all the domain controller and if you apply the filter to all it will show you all the servers available in your environment in order to upgrade the agent simply select the agent server right click and click on install or upgrade and click on ok so now this will check the operating system version it will install the 7.1 files on the agent server it will execute and once the execution is completed it will show you a 7.1 version on this server and now as you can see here my agent has been upgraded to 7.1 and deployment result is success that means i have upgraded the agent on this server to 7.1 Similarly, you can go one by one and upgrade each of this agent server. Now, the last step is to upgrade the web client as well. In certain environment, we have seen you have installed the web client as well. So, we should upgrade the web client also. In order to upgrade the web client, go back to our setup wizard and the third option is change the client that is web client so simply click on install click on next license agreement next and install and now as you can see here my web client has also been upgraded to 7.1 click on finish so friends this was all about upgrade of your change editor environment to 7.1 if you have any questions please visit support.quest.com and we will be happy to assist you thanks for watching this video